In this video I'm going to show you a very simple way to apply a roof detail onto a wall and also then how to apply a gutter detail to that roof. So on the left hand side here I've just got the outline of a very basic shape of a wall and to add a roof to it I need to come up to the roof options and I need to do roof by footprint. So left click on that, it's asking me which level do I want to apply the roof to and level 1 is the highest level so that's the one I want to use. So I'll go yes to that. And I'm going to draw the roof using the line command. So I click on line. Over here I can decide if I'm going to use an offset for the roof. Now essentially what that's going to mean is that as I draw the roof around this wall, the roof line doesn't actually get drawn on the wall it gets drawn to one side of it by a certain distance and that's a very quick way of producing something like a soffit. So I'm going to change my offset detail to we'll say 400 millimeters and then I just draw clicking the top left hand side of the wall going around to the top right hand side bottom right hand side bottom left hand side and close it back. It's important with roofs that they close back. It has to be a closed roof. So that pink outline shows the footprint of the roof and we can see here that the sides are going to have a 30 degree pitch. Now I can change that pitch uh, later on if I want but it's the default one and I'm going to use that as you see it there. Once I'm happy with that I can go up to the create roof uh, button which is the finish edit mode. Click on that roof gets drawn. Now you may not see it in this particular view but if we go into our 3D view you can see the roof object has been drawn there. So our next step is to add a gutter detail to this roof. I'm going to show you very quickly how it can be done and you may decide that uh, later on if you're doing this for yourself you might need to spend a bit more time getting the positioning of it exactly right. So let's go back to our level 1 floor plan again where we can see our roof. Click on modify just to bring us back to the main menu and part of the drop down menu for roof you'll see is to apply a roof gutter. So do a left click on the word gutter and you can see here we've got a basic type of gutter. Um, I'll just go with that type for the moment and I can show you how to change it later on. So to place a gutter all you need to do is just click on the line of the roof that you want to apply it to. So I'm going to do a click here, click on the right hand side, click on the bottom, click on the left hand side and once you're finished that you can just click on modify to finish it and if we go into a 3D view we can zoom in here and you can see that the gutter has been applied to it. Okay. Now so if you're happy with the positioning of that that's fine you can leave it at that but just to show you you can change the uh, properties of the gutter so move your mouse over the gutter and select it with a left click and over here to your properties box click on edit type and you can make all kinds of changes to it here um, maybe one of the changes you would like to make is the type of the profile so here we've got a 150 by 150 profile but there are other options built into it We'll go with the 125 by 125, so a slightly smaller uh, bevel, and we can change the material. Currently, it's set to aluminium, but if we click on the aluminium and then come over to this button with the three dots and click on this, you will see that you get options to select any kind of material that you like from the document, uh, the library of materials. So click OK to that. Click OK, and the gutter has updated itself to the slightly smaller size. Remember we changed it from a 150 to a 125 so it updates itself slightly. You can change the location of it by coming over here and having a look at these settings here so you might decide to drop the gutter down slightly from the profile of the roof and there are things that you can play around with and fix up yourself depending on how you want it to appear.